All right, guys, how's it going? So recently I was asked by a client, could I render out a wave? Now, it was a static shot, it was for a product render, and it's kind of one of the head scratchers. Do I go into Houdini and do a fluid simulation? Do I sculpt it in ZBrush? And then I remembered the landscape add-on for Blender. So we're going to try and recreate something like this. Here's hoping. So I'll delete the mesh, and like I mentioned, we need the landscape add-on. So if you go to Edit, Preferences, go to Add-ons, and search for Landscape. Now this is actually built in with Blender, so you don't even need to download anything. Although, just as a kind of side note, this add-on's actually been updated to now implement texture maps, so it might be worth checking that out. I think it's available on Blender Artist. Now once you've enabled the add-on, there's several ways we can initiate. We can go to the Create tab here, and it's, you can see it here, Landscape, or we can search for Landscape Tool. Now, if you've never seen the Landscape add-on, it is superb at making terrain. If you come to Operator Presets, you can see that it gives you a whole bunch of presets, anything from canyons to volcanoes. So I'm actually going to select something like Mountain 2, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the height. So I'll bring the height up. Now you'll notice that it clips here, and I'm not wanting that, so just be careful. I want a kind of valley. Now nothing is set in stone here. Push all buttons. <laughs> if you're not happy with the seed, change the random seed and you might get a better shape. So I'm quite happy with that. And you can also play around with the different noise types. So if you go to noise settings, you can change this to something like rigid multifractal. That's pretty cool. Now I don't want the mesh falling straight off the edge. So if I come down to fall off, I can bring in the X. I can also bring in the Y a little bit. We get something like this. Pretty cool. I'll maybe put the height back up. And I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. Maybe go a little bit higher. Something like that. It's not perfect, but it'll do for the demonstration purpose. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a modifier. And I'll add in a simple deform. And the first thing I'll do is I'll do a stretch. And I'll stretch it out. Now you can see here we have a factor, so I'm actually going to go into the negative value, so I'll do like minus 0.75, and we get this kind of shape. I'll hit apply, and then I'll add in another simple deform, and this time I'll use the bend modifier, and you can see here what we're getting. Now if I change the angle, I can be very extreme with it, I can also extrude it out, we get something like this, I'll hit apply. And then I'll add in a subdivision surface and we get something a bit more accurate. And that is pretty much the technique that I use for creating the wave. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, I've got a couple of mates now, you know what to do. Peace.